Hey lovers and friends, it's Andrew, and if you're watching, it's Thursday. It's another week, another day, and I'm actually getting this done pretty quickly, um, pretty early, and I'm pretty excited about that. This week we're talking about LGBT musicians and if our likes and dislikes. Basically, if you watch Bree's video, I'm much like her. I don't really have that much gay music, gay-oriented music. I have a ton of musicians and a ton of artists and a ton of songs. Um, I have about the same amount as she does, but I do not have that many gay-oriented um, musicians. I do have one or two that I listen to, but not really on a regular basis. One being Sam Sparrow. Obviously he's gay. I just love his song Black and Gold. It's just pretty classic for me. When it came out, I didn't really like it, but then my friends kept playing it and I was just like, you know what, I love the song, it's a really good song, and so far every cover I've heard of it, I love them. There's an amazing cover by Katy Perry. I don't really like Katy Perry, but that's the only thing I ever listened to her back from her. There's one of this new artist called Ellie Goulding. I think her last name's Goulding. Ellie Goulding, she does this great black and gold cover. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But like I said before, um, and Brie has said, most of the artists that I listen to are usually just straight artists um, that, you know, just play music. I like people who um, are talented in their music and I don't think I reflect, you know, who I listen to based on my sexuality. Ever since I saw RuPaul's Drag Race, I've, wow, I've listened to RuPaul and that is literally the only gay artist I guess I can, I can actually stand. Um, RuPaul's music is pretty, like, simple and just has like a pretty gay beat to tell you the truth. One thing that Zach was talking about was Rufus Wainwright. My best friend from the city, she told me about Rufus Wainwright and said he's gay and like you should definitely listen to him, his music's awesome. And ever since Zach said something about it, Zach you've actually like opened my eyes to it because I never had the time to actually listen to him and now I'm probably gonna go listen to him after this. Zach tell me some songs about from him that um, I should listen to. I mean all the bands that I listen to are you know, typical bands, like, everyone else has said Lady Gaga, I listen to Lady Gaga just because I love her, I love the beat, um, people think she's crazy, but I like, I like the way she dresses and I like the way she, like, acts and stuff, she's just being her, and I think that's literally the message she's trying to, um, convey. I mean, being gay, I guess I listen to, like, Britney Spears every day, like, Kesha I listen to, they're not gay, but, they're not gay per se, like, they're not lesbians, but... I mean, for a guy listening to that on a nonstop basis, I, you know, literally do that. When I was younger, I listened to Tattoo, you know, all the, th all the things she said, and I was actually looking that up today online. The Spice Girls I listened to when I was younger, I guess this is like conveying, like not conveying, like this is like foreshadowing the fact that I'm becoming a gay man. <laughs> when I was younger, I loved Spice Girls, and I loved Tattoo, and I loved like the Backstreet Boys, and NSYNC, you know, all those boy bands. I still listen to them now. Um, but I mean, right now, I don't really listen to anyone other than, you know, like that one song from Sam, Sam Sparrow and RuPaul and Lady Gaga. Um, because, because, like, I don't feel the need to, like, go out and find a gay artist and back them and support them. I just like good music. That's literally what I like. And I know Lady Gaga might not be great music or, you know, like, RuPaul might not be great music, but I have other stuff in my, you know, arsenal. Like, I listen to MGMT, um, Vampire Weekend, um, I have a big array of different stuff. Like, I listen to John Mayer, he's one of my favorite artists. I listen to, um, Michael Buble, you know, like, just a big wide array. Um, I know Courtney, you actually made a video, um, saying Heartbreak Warfare, Warfare. I'm actually gonna go see him later on. But, a lot of you, a lot of you girls on the channel talk about Tegan and Sarah, and I have not gotten into them yet, um, because, like I said before, I don't know any, I don't know any of their songs. Like, I don't know what, what to listen to first. So, if any of you girls are watching, shout me out some of those songs so that I can figure them out, you know, which ones I should start listening to so that I can get the hook of them, you know, um, and... You know, I just wanna, I love music, so anyone who throws out music at me, I'll take a chance and listen to them. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna say it. If I like it, I'm gonna stick to them. Just saying. 
like I said, all the music I listen to isn't mostly gay, but it might be gay for a male to listen to. How about that? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. It was kind of like a mashup of things, but I tried to incorporate all of you. Let me know what kind of music you guys listen to, um, because I like to know, like I said, I like to know new artists, and if I haven't heard of them, I'm going to look them up. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. I love you guys. Mwah.